Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Looking at Stamps. This is episode 73, and we are continuing our look at the scenic American landscape designs. There are two today. This is the first. This is C141, an 84 cent stamp, and this is the Yosemite National Park stamp. And there aren't too many 31 cent stamps, uh, which has been the goal for the past couple days, is to find two stamps total postage of $1.15 to send international mail. And so I do have two stamps. One is a single stamp and that is C190. This is the plain globe and flags stamp. Uh, to me, it's a very pleasing stamp. It's ge uh, graphically pleasing in its design. Uh, I just find it very striking and it could go very well with the blues and the oranges in the Yosemite National Park stamp. Once again, that is C90, a one and nine sixteenths by one inch. The set is a series, the second is a series of five stamps called George Washington Reviewing His Ragged Army at Valley Forge. The short title is George Washington at Valley Forge. And these are 31 cent stamps. It is a series of five stamps, A through E. I'll show them to you individually and then I'll show you the poster size view uh, a little bit later. But it's very difficult to use these particular stamps because the 31 cent, the price of the stamp is very difficult to see. You can see it there. That gray one's easier to see. There is somewhere. Uh, let's see if I can find it. There it is, right there in the corner, bottom right corner. And there's this one in the top left corner. And the stamps are designated and titled. The first is Two Officers, B is George Washington, and the rest of them just make me laugh. C is Officer with Black Horse, D is officer with white horse and the last is titled three soldiers it just reminds me of being on stage and being designated as you know the third sailor from the left in south pacific but i'll show those to you again and this is c141 the Yosemite National Park 84 cent stamp. As promised, here is the larger view of the stamp set Washington at Valley Forge. As you can see, it's 1689, A is an alpha through E is an echo. Uh, they're two side stamps, a uh, one and nine sixteenths by one inch or one inch by nine and one and nine sixteenths, depending upon the orientation. And, I will, and I've already shown you the stamps individually. I just want to show you the overview of the poster sheet. We are back with the second stamp of today. Uh, this is C147. This is the Grand Teton National Park. This is a 98 cent stamp. And there aren't too many 17 cent stamps out there. Uh, the one that I have in my stock you've seen already, and that is the Statue of Liberty face. Uh, C80 and that is all that I have in terms of a 17 cent stamp. Now if you wanted to don't mind sending one dollar and sixteen cents there are plenty of 18 cents 18 cent stamps out there. Likewise with the Yosemite National Park if you don't mind spending an extra penny there are a plethora of 32 cent stamps that you could use with that particular stamp as well. So here we have C80 70 cent, 17 cent airmail stamp along with the Grand Teton National Park stamp C147. And that's all that we have for today. Tomorrow we're going to talk about stamp placement and why stamp size is so important. Have a great day and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye bye.